it's one thing to write a great app script. It's entirely different to make it easy to use and intuitive for both yourself and anyone you share it with. It's all about easy interactions on this episode of App Script in a Snap. If you've got the best App Script ever and no one knows how to run it, is it really the best? I'm on a mission to make the workday better through clever hacks and snappy automations. And ultimately, that comes down to how a person can interact with your script. I'm Joanna Smith, and I am a firm believer in the custom menu. No joke, this is actually my favorite feature. So the idea here is that App Script can add new menus in Google Docs, Sheets, Slides, or Forms, with each menu item tied to a function in a script. Side note, in Google Forms, custom menus are visible only to an editor who opens the form to modify it, because who would want a survey responder to modify the survey? Now, a script can only create a menu if it is bound to the document, spreadsheet, or form. To display the menu when the user opens a file, you just write some menu code within an onOpen function. Now, of course, there are other ways to kick off the initial execution of a script, but those are called triggers, and that's a whole other video. So if your script is already running, you can use dialogues and sidebars to capture user interaction. These are user interface elements that, when clicked, execute an app script function. Let's start with dialogues. An alert dialog is a pre-built dialog you can use to get a user's confirmation. It displays a message and buttons like OK, yes, and no. Now, alerts suspend the script while the dialog is open, meaning that your script is fully paused until the user clicks one of the buttons, at which point the dialog will close and the script resumes running. A prompt dialog is very similar to an alert, but it offers a text input field. Prompts also suspend the script while the dialog is open. And once it is closed, the script will resume, but it can make use of the information provided. This seems like a good place to remind you how important it is to validate any user input data. Now, you also have the option of using a custom dialog. A custom dialog can display an HTML service user interface. Custom dialogs do not suspend the server-side script while the dialog is open, meaning that the dialog component can make asynchronous calls to the script using either the Google Script API for HTML service interfaces or server handlers for UI service interfaces. And this dialog can only be closed by calling google.script.host.close in the HTML service of the dialog itself or by the user clicking the button. OK, pivoting. Sidebars are a little more interesting. Think of the custom dialog but with much more real estate and able to permanently hang out on the side of the window. This is actually the same real estate that features like conditional formatting use, so it will be very familiar to your users. So remember, if you want to be the best, you've got to make something that is truly the best for its user. Plan ahead for user interactions and make it intuitive. Maybe even try a little UX testing, eh? Anyway, subscribe to the G Suite YouTube channel for more great tips and stay tuned for more App Script in a Snap.